Hi, Caleb with Brenos here. In today's video, I'm joined again with Adam from Spirit of Systems, and we're gonna be going through the Mark IV versus the Mark V. Adam, what are some of the main core differences? Yeah, sure, so uh, our Mark designations just tell you what, uh, what generation a product is. Gotcha. Uh, currently, we offer both the Mark IV and the Mark V variations of our Microfight chest rig. Uh, but all of our products kind of have a Mark designation just to help okay. people track what, what generation the product's on. Um, the Mark V is where we'll start. And that's our newest iteration of the, uh, of the Microfight chest rig. And the main features of this are that it has a, it has a Molly uh, kind of panel on the front here. Um, it definitely has laser cut uh, holes here that you can put um, magazine like retention you know bungees in things like that which we sell a kit that you can buy three of them uh, and the reason why there's holes all the way across is essentially you can you know swap out the magazine insert so we wanted to give you the ability to move those kind of left and right uh, laterally wherever you need them you can see this one has two mags in it and there's a, and there's a flashbang in the in the pouch there this one has a 556 five, triple insert uh, which is common to both the mark IV and the mark V, which we'll talk about um, the things that are different about this, the main difference between the Mark IV and the Mark V is if I flip it up like this, you can see it has just a single compartment. Uh, and we did that because we wanted to reduce the profile of the, of the overall chest rig. And then we also wanted to allow people to put any Molly pouch on the front and kind of customize the front a little bit more. Uh, so that's kind of how we updated this product, but there's still things about the Mark IV that we like. So that's why we've kept it on as a product and it's still, uh, is a product that a lot of people prefer over uh, the Mark V. So picking up the Mark IV, the, the big distinction here is that it does, it has that double pocket right. uh, design on it. So open this up. So there's definitely a front pocket and a rear pocket and uh, they're the same dimensions. So all of the magazine inserts, you can see this one's equipped with a, a sub machine gun insert uh, and has four magazines in it. Uh, these can work in both pouches. So pick this one up. This is our 556 five, uh, magazine insert, which is probably the, our best seller. And it has, you know, three slots, but it can be used to fit other things. It's elastic and it has a hook Velcro on both sides so that you can insert it into either pocket. Each pocket on the Mark IV is lined with uh, loop Velcro. So anything with, uh, Anything with Velcro on it can be, you know, put into the pocket and stored in there. Same with the Mark V. We've seen guys use this to, they'll take, they'll take like a Kydex holster and they'll actually mount like a pistol in here. Uh, we've seen law enforcement with tasers mounted in here. Uh, a lot of law enforcement uses the Mark IV over uh, the Mark V and they put um, handcuffs, things like that. This one has a half flap on it, which is another distinction between the Mark IV and the Mark V is that it uses a flap system for the closure on the front. Whereas, you know, the Mark V, this one has a pouch mounted to it. This is a pouch we made specifically for uh, the Mark V to store items, right? And it just gives a really large uh, kind of internal storage space uh, on the front of it. it has two pockets so that you can kind of organize smaller items on the front. I just have like some earplugs and extra, you know, cables for my headset, you know, things like that kind of store up there, things that I'm gonna to need to access, but wanna keep kind of separate. Uh, as far as thickness goes, that's another question we get a lot. What, you know, what are the size differences? And quite frankly, they're very similar. Yeah. Uh, so if you're looking at size, the dimensions, the, you know, the width of the product is essentially the same. The Mark V is actually a little bit wider, um, you know, than the Mark IV but they're about the same thickness. Gotcha. So you're not really gaining anything if you're using this front pouch. Right. Obviously, if you want a very streamlined, you know, chest rig, the Mark V is probably gonna be the way to go. Uh, it's just a lot, you know, smaller, a lot thinner, I should say. Uh, so those are kind of, you know, the, the basic overview. The Mark V offers some newer features. Uh, this one right here is my, my personal one, one of the ones that I have set up and you can see there's stuff mounted to the sides of it. The Mark IV doesn't offer that as a, as a feature. Uh, so you can, you know, do single row Molly pouches on the side or you can route some rubber bands and things through it. Both the Mark IV and the Mark V 
uh, have a field of Velcro on the back. It's covered by this uh, this other piece of Velcro here. You can just take this off and you can mount, you know, our sack pouch or our lunchbox pouch, things like that can be mounted to the backside of the product and then hung below, kind of taking up that little space there. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's primarily the differences between the two. Okay, yeah, so I mean, getting down to the whole adventure specific thing, you know, if you know out the gate, you're gonna want those those dual pouches. Sure. Mark IV is the way to go. Yeah. Um, if you know you're gonna run, want to run as slick as possible, Mark V, yep. and then later down the road, you know, if you want, you you felt like that was a mistake, you need to add to it, no big deal. You can just grab that extra pouch. Yeah, sure. I think the for me, the big difference between the two in decision-making, uh, I mentioned the handcuffs before. Right. Where this really excels, in my opinion, is uh, if you know you wanna run this setup, you know, two magazine uh, pouches and a half flap just to store, you know, really like handcuffs or something like that. Uh, the law enforcement guys really like the ability to um, one hand open the pouch. Okay. Right? If you think about putting handcuffs on someone, you're usually trying to control them physically in some way. Uh, so, you know, they'll, they'll store handcuffs in here. They can just reach with one hand, open it up very quickly, reach in, grab the handcuffs, put them on. You know, whereas if you were using something like this, it kind of just eliminates that option. Right. You know, it's a zipper. I mean, you can get it open one-handed, but I think it's just a little more purpose-driven with the with the half flap on there. Sure. Uh, so I think that if you kind of know your configuration, you're like, I really want to have two pistol mags, or I really want to have a Velcro flap that I can access quickly. The Mark IV really is the right way to go. Right. Uh, if you're a little uncertain, you're like, I'm not really sure what I'm going to put on the front. Um, then, you know, the Mark V is a great option because you can, it's kind of future-proof in the way that, you know, you can put any pouch that you find that you like on the front. You could also mount, uh, you know, a taser to the front. You can mount your body cam if you're a law enforcement guy right to the front on the Molly. You can mount uh, phones if you're in the military and you're using ATAC or something like that. You can very easily mount it to the, to the front there. So really, I mean, like you said, it's, it's pick your own adventure and you just kind of just think about which way you want to go and nothing says that you can't have both. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, both is definitely another option as sure. well. So Adam, I appreciate you coming out. Yeah. Uh, this has been extremely insightful. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.